Welcome to the SNEA Swordfish School Series. I am Rochelle Alders, the chair of the SNEA Scalable Management Storage Technical Work Group, which develops the SNEA Swordfish specification. This presentation covers the definition of the requirements for a minimum swordfish implementation, as defined in the swordfish specification and the SNEA swordfish profiles. This presentation is subject to the SNEA legal notice. Content is current as of August 2020 and may be updated or corrected by the SNEA SSM TWIG at a later date to correspond to changes or updates without notice or updates to this publication. Swordfish is defined in terms of features. Each feature corresponds to a set of functionality that is grouped together into a set of related functions from a client perspective. The detailed requirements to support individual feature properties and implementation constraints are documented in profiles. There are currently 14 defined features and corresponding profiles. The base or starting feature and profile is for Swordfish discovery. Swordfish discovery is broken down into a set of required behaviors and required properties. The required behaviors are, effectively, to support a get or read on all objects and instantiated or implemented properties. In addition to this set of required behaviors, there are a set of required properties for the Swordfish Discovery feature. These are slightly different depending on the implementation model chosen. The two implementation models available are called Standard or Integrated. In either case, the client can find the storage system from the slash storage collection at the service route. The service route is located at slash redfish slash v1. Therefore, the storage collection at the service route is at slash redfish slash v1 slash storage. For the standalone configuration, the instance of the storage will be created in this collection. For the integrated configuration, in this collection, there will simply be a reference to the implementation. And the actual instance is created in the storage collection in the computer system it is attached to. The additional requirements for the storage instances include, there must be a volume collection in that storage instance that, and that collection must exist but may be empty. Correspondingly, there must also be a storage pools collection in that storage instance. It may also be empty. There must also be a collection for the storage media within the storage instance. That can either be a drives collection directly, or it can be in an attached capacity sources structure. Again, this may be empty. For the integrated configuration, there are some additional requirements. The implementation must have a computer system with a storage and storage controller object where these objects are attached. The computer system hosting roles property must be set to storage server. And there must also be a storage system collection in the service route with at least one member. In addition to these required behaviors and properties, there are some additional requirements for Swordfish discovery. The implementation must have a features registry and advertise Swordfish Discovery as a supported feature. Note that this may be a static implementation. The diagrams on the following two slides show the differences in the two configurations described in the requirements we just covered. This diagram reflects an example for a Swordfish standalone configuration and shows the basic elements of the minimal Swordfish implementation I've described and where the various properties live. For example, the Swordfish collection off the service route with the corresponding storage instance. You can see here the links to the volume and storage pools. Also, you can see the features registry showing Swordfish discovery. Note that neither of these diagrams show the complete installation and implementation requirements for the underlying Redfish implementation as well. This diagram shows the alternate implementation model called the integrated implementation, as the storage instance is integrated into a computer system. The storage is attached to a computer system, 
and a link is also accessible from the storage collection at the service route. You can also see the additional requirements in the computer system instance, the hosting rules property such as storage server, and the storage system collection defined off the service route. Thanks for watching this SNEA Swordfish School video. For more information on SNEA Swordfish, please check out these resources. For information on the standard and all the supporting materials, such as schema, specs, mockups, user's guide, the practical guide, and more, go to snea.org slash swordfish. For a community forum and to ask questions about redfish and swordfish, go to swordfishforum.com. For information about or to join the SNEA Storage Management Initiative, go to snea.org slash forums slash SMI slash about slash join. And for information about or to join the SNEA SSM twig, go to snea.org slash members. Thank you.